Hello friends, welcome to bispsolutions.com. My name is Sumit, and uh, in this video, we are going to talk about how to use Partner WSTL to integrate Salesforce with .NET. So basically, we will be going to perform SOAP API integration with .NET using Partner WSTL. So we have different type of APIs available in Salesforce and Partner WSTL is one of them. So we'll be going to use this Partner WSTL and basically Partner WSTL is a uh, is W is the loosely typed WSTL for partners, customers, and ISVs who will be building client application for multiple organizations, and it can be used to access data within any organization. So we'll be going to use this partner WSTL in this video. So first of all, we need to obtain this partner WSTL, and in order to obtain this partner WSTL, I click on generate partner WSTL. Right click, save as, and I save this as partner WSTL dot WSD. So I extracted the partner WSTL file. The extension, this extension for this is WSTL. And now we are going to incorporate this WSTL file in .NET. And then we'll see how to how to write a sample code for that. So I create a new project, and I give name as Partner WSTL SOAP API Test, and OK. So this creates a form for us. So it's a Windows form application. And here, first of all, we need to do is we need to add a reference to that partner WSDL file. So we we'll look for Solution Explorer. Right click on the project. Add service reference, advanced web reference, and we are going to add the URL. So right click. Properties. The URL is. So I'll just copy this URL and the file name. Dot WSD and look for this file. As you can see, one service has been found for Partner WSDL and uh, the S4 service description. S4 SOAP API. This is SOAP API, and we can perform the we can perform multiple operations by using this API. And first of all, I give this name as S Force and add reference. So a new reference has been added. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a form, and in this form we are going to create a new contact using this partner WSTL. So let me quickly design a form, a toolbox. And for doing that, I would be, we would be getting four or five inputs from user first name, last name, salutation, phone, and title. So I quickly drag and drop five tick boxes. And five labels and one button. So I designed this form where we'll be capturing five inputs from user first name, last name, salutation, phone, title, and two buttons I have added. One button is to test the connectivity, test the connections, and the next, the, another button will be going to use to insert records or to save the records into contact object. So let's start writing the code. And for writing the code, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a reference to that basically. So I write using partner as dot s force and using system dot net. Then within form before this constructor, I create variables. So 
I create four variables S4 service binding username password and my security token so that the security token for my current subscription current Salesforce org now next I'm going to create one function just for testing for connectivity so private bool login and this function using this function we would be going to test the connectivity so here I that's the code for this binding is equal to new s4 service that's the timeout I created a new instance for login result URL let me resolve this error and uh, I'm just testing it connectivity for service point manager partner security protocol that's the binding dot login and we will be passing username password plus token and these if any error occurs and we would be extracting the server URL the session header and the session ID now on button one click on test connectivity on button one click we are going to test whether it is connected successfully or not so I simple write if login if it is true then I will display a message box dot show connected successfully else it will throw an error message message box dot show connection fake and on second button so first of all let's test this so I'll just save this click on start so it's system.net okay that's fine only one error was there when we click on test connection I got an error message it says it's not cannot implicitly convert type so to solve this issue we need to perform an action and for that what you need to do is I'm using notepad plus plus for solving this out and I'll just open a file and that file is that file is the open the project web reference s4 and here look for reference dot cs and in reference.cs we need to search for double brackets and wherever you found double brackets just replace that with a single bracket so we have no more double brackets I'll just save it close it and now let's test it again start test connection And you can see I got a confirmation message connected successfully now we will be going to do the next step that is to save the record to insert record so for this again I click on double I double click on button click so the function is button two underscore click that's the save button and here I use try and catch block try and catch and in catch so exception ex if any error occur and the message box dot show unexpected error has occurred so it's a custom message ex dot message stack trace plus ex dot stack trace. and in try block this is the code we need to write so here first of all we are going to create a new s object of type contact so I create s object of contact type is equal to new s force dot s object then system 
dot xml dot xml element contact field is equal to new system dot xml dot xml elements and i'm going to define six elements so it's an array now we are going to create the contact fields so system dot xml dot xml document doc is equal to new xml system new system dot xml dot xml document and then contact fields zero is equal to doc dot create element first name like this i would be creating i would be doing the same thing for first name last name so i'll just copy this first name last name so i'm creating elements first name last name salutation phone and title and also we'll be writing contact field zero dot we are going we need to bind the text so for binding i would be binding it with first name will be bind with text box one text box two text box three text box four text box five so i bind it with text box one dot text So same thing for and we need to change this as well. The index need to be changed. One, one, two, 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 three, three, four, four. So text box two dot text, last name text box 3 dot text text box 4 dot text text box 5 so it's an element it's an array of six elements you can have more i i'm inserting only four or five five elements actually 1 2 3 4 5 starting indexes here then contact dot type is equal to contact object contact dot any is equal to contact field now we are going to add this s object to an array so s object contact list is equal to new s object is equal to new s object so it's a list of it's a list of one array and contact list zero is equal to contact. Now we are going to create a call and pass this array to S object. So I create a save result just to save the results and binding need to be done. So binding dot create contact list and uh, we'll iterate through the result sets and write the id of the new s object and if there is any error while creating an object creation field so it will throw an error message otherwise it will display a message that a new contact has been created with the id of a particular that particular record so i just run a loop for integer i is zero or let's take it j j is equal to zero j less than result dot length j plus plus and i'll just validate that if result of j dot success then it will throw a message box so message box dot 
show it will display a message a contact was created with an id of and we would be getting the id from the results of j dot id it would be returning the id else it will throw an error if there is any error message so i'll uh, i'll simply display a message message box dot show record insertion failed so let's test it now and i'll simply click on start and let me test it so i write first name patient phone number title and click on save record so as soon as I click on save button, I got a message. A contact was created with an ID. So a new record has been inserted successfully. So let's go and check the new record. So I'll click, I'll get back to my Salesforce org. And now I will check the new record inserted. So new this week. And we have a record inserted just now. Kamal Sharma manager this month. That's the record. So this record we have inserted just now you can see the timing 7 evening. so this is showing the same time 7 so this is how we can use the partner wstl to insert a record into salesforce to perform dml operations to an salesforce org using document so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can post your comments in comment box or you can visit our website www.bsbsolutions.com for more updates on Salesforce integration part. You can connect with us for the customized training on Salesforce integration. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.